us this morning. John Michael, good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Nice to be here. And if it's all the same to you, we're going to ignore you and talk to you. It is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> she can handle it. She can handle it. Hey, how are you? Good. Thank you for coming in. Tell me about this lemonade stand idea. Tell me how all that happened. Well, I decided to do a lemonade stand to help the people in the uh, in this uh, to help the people in the city of Windsor. And my, I told my dad, why don't we do it in front of the house? But my dad said, well, if you do it in front of the house, you're just gonna get two, three cans. So we went to talk to Superstore, and Superstore let us take take two hours for two days uh, to sell lemon, not to sell, but to give lemonade. And we were happy about that, and we want to thank our supporters, our friends, and the parents. Our supporters were the Superstore and for giving us the place to do it, the Silverstein who gave us the lemons to squeeze, the McDonald's that uh, that let us that gave us the jars and the orange juice, and the Basta print that printed us postcards and bags. Sponsor mentions at the age of eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. How many lemons did you squeeze? One hundred and twenty-four. Personally? Yes. <laughs> By hand? Really? Yes. Show me your hand. Show me your arms there. <laughs> John, I mean, what did you and your <coughs> mom think about all of this? I think it's great. I think it's uh, an eye opening for the community that. Uh, a child will make a move and we sponsor her. We give her all the power that she needs so she can exceed in, in the community and do whatever is right for the community. Um, I have a message for uh, a lot of parents. It is important to invest in your child. It is, uh, who said that a small dedicated uh, group cannot make a difference? As a matter of fact, it's the only thing that makes a difference. I'm very proud of him. Uh, justifiably. So, you wanted to collect food, Maya. That was the goal, right? Yes. Tell me why. To help the people that don't have food in the city of Windsor. And how did you recognize that need? How did you know that was a problem? I went to America and I went to McDonald's. Then after I saw a guy looking in the garbage, so I I I went up to my dad and I'm like. Dad, can you get an extra hamburger? Then after my dad got a hamburger and we gave it to that guy and he, he saved a piece of the hamburger. And I also had apples and then after I gave it to him too. And what did he say to you? He, he told me thank you because he didn't have any food and he was looking in the garbage. How did that make you feel to have done something like that? It, make, it made me feel very good. Who are my his friends? Who are, your, who are these people that are helping you? Well, some of them come from the school, and some of them are my neighbors, and and uh, it's open to the whole community. Anybody that wants to be Maya's friend is all good. Yes. Raise your hand if you'd like to be Maya's friend. Anybody? <laughs> yeah. Everybody here. Is there a room for everybody who's here? Uh, yeah. You do? Okay. Now, how many of your friends are eight years old? Well... Uh, a lot of people are in third grade, but there's some in fifth grade, one in eighth grade, two in fourth grade, two in second grade. And some of them are at the Superstore, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, what else are you planning? I mean, you did the lemonade stand thing. Do you have other things in the works? Yes. Uh, we are we are passing on postcards for to show the people that you should be happy during Christmas. And we are also passing on cans and you, uh, to put the food inside, and we'll pick them up the next day. And we are gonna be we're uh, we're gonna be visiting two senior homes, and we're gonna be dancing and playing and do everything for them. And uh, we are also covering this uh, this disease called the maple syrup urine disease, and uh, and it affects the body like. You have to, some of, some people sit in the stroller when they're nine years old because they can't walk good, they can't talk, and they can't, like, the food doesn't digest in their tummy. Mm -hmm. So what it is, it's, um, a child is born with a deficiency uh, of uh, breaking the uh, three of the 20 essential proteins. And so it's, a, it's a digestive 
issue of yes, sensory. Yes, yes, and it become uh, very toxic for the body, and uh, uh, it, it goes in the bloodstream and it hits the brain. It's basically like a bone with an Alzheimer. And it hits uh, the brain and start to eat from the brain cells. And uh, what it is, we're trying to get the medical team uh, involved in this issue. Uh, we want uh, uh, at least uh, four or five doctors, a nurse, a physiotherapist, massage therapist, and the team of my friend. Uh, we will work in collaboration with the health department and see what we can do about it. And this is a long-term forecast uh, uh, in the future that we are uh, working on it. I have a question for you, John Michael, and it is, I mean, I know that many children are inspired by their parents. Uh, I'm guessing it's somewhat working in reverse for you. Well, I, uh, I started my life in volunteering in community services when I was little as a child, uh, scouting. I started the first uh, first aid team in North Lebanon for the Red Cross. I was very young. And Were you eight years old? No, no. <laughs> eight, eight years old was scouting and, <laughs> yeah, and, okay. and this, basically scouting. That's how I met my wife. Um, <coughs> we, we, we came from a home that uh, does a lot of community services and we, we volunteered and we put our life online for our neighbors and our community and the people around us. So Maya comes by it honestly, for sure. It's Maya, for her. Yeah, hey, thank you so much for coming in, John. And congratulations on what you've done with, with this little girl. Maya, thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful Christmas. Yeah. I feel like I've accomplished nothing. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a distinct pleasure, Maya Michael and her father John. Can, can I just uh, send a very uh, thanks to her team, uh, the parents that are dedicated, that uh, look for their children and uh, direct them to the right direction. I just want to say thank you for them. And thank you so much for coming in again, John. Thank you. And thank you again, Maya.